how to protect yourself from toxic household chemicals. Or perhaps you think the chemicals you use in your home, garden, garage, or at work are safe enough. Welcome to another edition of Apex App Creator Spotlight. I'm Alexa Morales, and my guest today is Dan Larson, founder of ChemDB, an app that helps companies and consumers think twice before buying or using dangerous chemicals. Welcome, Dan. Thank you. Give me a short description of what your application does. The main purpose of the application is to make it safer for, for uh, on workplaces to when you manage uh, a lot of dangerous chemicals. Our business model is, is to make it possible for everyone to make a safe work environment. How many chemicals does the average user have in their workplace? Pretty small companies can still have like 100, 200, 300 different chemicals. Uh, every chemical has like a, a, paper, a sheet of paper with it with a description of, of how this product is dangerous. It could be 10, 15 pages long. So if you have 100 products, that's about 1,000 pages with information. And without having some kind of system to see this, you have uh, it's impossible to have the uh, overview. Can you describe the technology stack that you're using for the app, the data, the APIs, or any third-party components? Yeah, it's built 100% in Oracle database with the help of Oracle Apex. We have some tools for capturing data and uploading to the database, and we have some APIs connected to our partner companies. We also have uh, mobile applications that seamlessly integrates to the Oracle Apex environment. The end user can use the mobile app to scan a uh, our code on a, on a canister and directly fetch the information from the from the Oracle database to the to the application and see how is this product dangerous? How can I work safe with it? What kind of legislation do we have to think about? I was going to ask you exactly about that because I saw on the Android app you have the barcode symbol right there, so it's very obvious that you can use it to scan. You focused a lot on business. Do you see a possibility for? consumers to use this more? Our goal is to deliver the information wherever it's needed. Uh, we don't lock the information and sell it, access to it. How many users do you have? Uh, today in ChemDB we have about 850 companies using. What results have you achieved with the app? We have created a possibility for, for many companies that didn't have the possibility to create a safe work environment. Many times they get this you have to do this legislation right now and at the same time they get the application and they see this is a lot of work but but uh, we have to remind them that in another way it was almost impossible to have this 2000 1000 pages uh, and have to uh, know everything or hire an expert so it was almost impossible to for very small companies to comply to, to this and Especially for us, important uh, like uh, cancerogenic, mutagenic, uh, these kind of dangers that is like yeah. can create a false sense of security when you when you use them every day and nothing happens. But uh, exactly, yeah. Everyone knows how to manage a fire hazard, uh, but uh, but these kind of dangers are, are much more uh, sneaky. I love how how you're putting that here in California they do a good job of labeling things and saying something is carcinogenic, like you said, but they don't label all the other things, right? So so what else should we be concerned? So you just said carcinogenic, that's one thing. What else should we be concerned about just as consumers? What is mostly worrying for me is like um, the levels that is accepted for, for so, some things. But the problem is that the, you you can you cannot look at one chemicals and use it to say uh, uh, this is so so small amounts because you have maybe a thousand different chemicals from other uh, ways you start finding more and more uh, chemicals that you didn't think was dangerous but especially for like pregnant women and stuff like this the kids get uh, affected so I am really proud that we can deliver information. And what are your plans for the future of the application? In the close uh, time, we will add some more use for like transportation of these kind of products, uh, the regulation and the documentation for this, create documentation. Also, we will uh, do similar with the storage of uh, fire uh, hazardous uh, chemicals mm -hmm. because um, 
this uh, is uh, very much requested. It's different kind of legislation. So for, for me, uh, it started with REACH chemical legislation, but many people see these things that, yeah, but this is almost the same thing. It's, but but uh, in real, it's di completely different legislation. But, but we will add support for this also because that's what our customer needs. You just said REACH? REACH is the European chemical legislation. Ah name of this so so that is the backbone of everything that's chemical legislation but there are other kind of legislation like workplace environment legislation that is also chemicals so they, they match together uh, and transportation of chemicals is not reach it's completely different legislations yeah i mean to me the possibilities are are enormous i could see that you could from a consumer or a workplace perspective, rate, you know, or compare companies and see, you know, this company is doing very well at their management of their, of the chemicals that are, you're exposed to and this company is not doing well. I also wonder if you could even data mine the safety sheets and look for information within there. Do you ever do that? Do you look, do you look at all what's inside those PDFs? Because I see you've got the PDFs linked in the database. Yeah, that is exactly what we are doing, mining for information. This kind of, and then we know what kind of information that is the building blocks for, for the legislation, so we can match them against different kind of legislations. And, and so that's exactly what we are doing. And also we provide, uh, of course, the safety data sheet uh, as a information also, but, and uh, try to do it in a smart way. So... Uh, we don't we need to do the uh, administration because uh, previous workplace I was in we had like many thousand chemicals and we did a lot of work and seeing how this is dangerous and categorizing and updating safety data sheet that company has many thousands of customers so for me it's very simple that if if they do this administration exactly the same thing we are doing. They are, everyone needs to do exactly the same thing for each product. Why don't we give them this? Why don't we do it one thing in the middle and share it with them so right. we save the time for them, the administration? Much of this administration is pretty useless. They give no value. The values when you like change the workplace, if you give uh, the, uh, the, your employee uh, protection gloves or glasses or get better fan for that's it. Get what's giving the value this shuffling papers in the in the binders or something that is not the value great well put you mentioned the cocktail effect and i think that's so interesting and i've read about something called forever chemicals i forget what they are exactly uh, yeah. what are those pfas uh, oh. yeah it it, it, it doesn't uh, it never go away and so if you eat some animal that has eaten another animal that has eaten uh, drink water or something for a toxic uh, PFAS, uh, toxic uh, water, we get this in us. In so um, that's uh, uh, another next, next big project we have uh, is looking at this kind of uh, chemicals also, but maybe not uh, restricting to chemicals, but all kinds of products because chemical legislation is mixing with other kind of before it was like uh, if you work with reach it was like you work with these chemicals now we, you, we talk about chemicals in all kind of products if, if you, the bicycle is a, a example in, in europe we talked a lot about how much is it uh, many chemicals are in the handles how much in the seat and what is in the tires so that's our next big step and we have uh, just started this and we have a lot of interest in this. Wow, that's great. Well, that is so inspiring. Is there anything that I didn't ask you about that you want to comment on or? No, uh, I'm very, very happy to found, find uh, Oracle Apex because uh, for me, I, I'm not a developer at all. Uh, I have learned and it was very small uh, threshold to start learning, to start creating. And uh, nothing of this was possible without. Uh, now I have a company, I employ people, and I have a um, completely different uh, life. 
So I'm very grateful for Oracle Apex and I have tried, I think, 10 or 11 similar tools before. So I will stick with this. Wonderful. Well, that's great. Well, thank you, Dan, so much for joining me on our App Creator Spotlight and best of luck for ChemDB. Thank you very much.